Hi, good morning everybody. Habari yenu, Jambo, Sharon, aka Babaraka. And uh, we are still holiday in. And I thought uh, I'm just going to come out here and give one of the real talks that I normally do since uh, we on a break maybe i am able to concentrate more and give you you know a few tips on what you need to be doing before i do that i just want to say thank you to everybody that has been following me following my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed my channel is sharon or baraka official youtube i have posted some music on there be a blessing to me as i be a blessing to you but in today's video it's all about real talks and i want to talk about mental health on children and young people young people means the teenagers so there are various mental health illnesses that children get or young people get and uh, i'm only going to be here for 10 minutes i only need to take 10 minutes of your time so i'm not going to take much of your time and that means i'm not going to be able to speak about all the mental health illnesses that are there but i'm just going to give um, a few examples of pointers that you need to be looking out for from your children so that if you see these signs then you know it's time to get some help i'm going to speak about adhd which is really common in young children and I'm also going to speak about schizophrenia, which is again, maybe quite common in um, older children like teenagers. And with ADHD, that is the attention hyperactive deficit um, disorder. That is a condition where you find your children are not able to concentrate. You know, hyper means they are being hyper, they are they are all over the place so if you find your children if they are sat with children of their same age group and your child is not able to sit still is not able to concentrate whether it's during playtime or whether it is in, in in class they are not able to complete an activity that could be an indication that your child could be having some uh, adhd and in the in medical terminology that is considered as a as a mental health illness is a is a label and i know most parents don't like their parents i mean their children being labeled with some of these um, conditions for various reasons but if you see your child is having one of these issues for me i recommend getting help because there is help and it's not all conditions that your children are required to take medication. There are those conditions where maybe they will be required to undergo some sort of therapy that is going to help them. And because what happens is it's a mechanism inside the brain of a child that makes them to behave in certain ways. And if that is not addressed when they are young, they are going to grow with this condition as they grow older and they can grow with it into adulthood. And these are the people you find when they're adults because they weren't given the attention, they weren't given the support or they weren't treated when this condition was still in the early stages in childhood. When they're older people, they're not able to regulate their emotions, they're all over and this, most of these people, unfortunately, research shows are the ones who go to end up being abusive partners or you know you find like um, those partners are domestic violence perpetrators i'm not saying all of them do you know obviously there are those that get the support and with support if you do get the support then you grow into a healthy person and some of these things are not going to be an issue when you're older you'll be able to have your own regulations of your emotions and yeah be a healthy adult the other one like i said i wanted to speak about is the schizophrenia i'm going to try and elaborate this in a layman's language without using the medical terminologies i am not a doctor by the way just um, to to give that disclaimer but i work quite a lot with children who have some of these conditions and i have an understanding of some of the things that you could obviously pick up and refer these children to the doctors for treatment um, so with schizophrenia in layman's language 
I would say is a condition where your child starts hearing voices and these voices are quite real you know they're, they're real voices I, I cannot say that that child isn't hearing those voices I don't know why it manifests when children are in their teenagehood because there isn't um, evidence showing that younger children have this maybe because younger children are not able to express themselves I don't I'm just um, imagining but this is something that you'll find starting from teenagehood and it carries on into adulthood you'll find some adults saying that they have been hearing voices or and it's quite oppressive when they start hearing these voices because maybe these voices are telling them to harm themselves or to harm somebody else and it can it becomes quite uh, oppressive to a, to a point where that person could feel suicidal they, they could start feeling themselves um, as suicidal because of how oppressing these voices are now again there are a variety of factors that makes um, children exhibit these conditions which uh, if you notice it i would advise you to not ignore it and don't just um, blush it off and say ah there's nothing you're hearing you don't, don't just blush it on the table if someone tells you even if it is an adult they start telling you they're hearing voices that is a serious condition people and that needs to be addressed by a medical professional so you will need to um, contact a doctor as soon as possible and if you get the right support if you get the right help for your children whilst they are still young it could prevent them from having a fully blown schizophrenia and maybe um, have abilities of management how to manage I know again this can be treated using therapy but I think mainly medication is the one that um, treats this one if this hearing of voices is obviously um, going to be a risk for that person or maybe a risk to other people then medication could be given if they're not that serious if it is not a threat to um, anybody's life or their own life it can be managed using therapy and there are therapists who are trained uh, I'm a therapist myself so these are some of the conditions that can be treated using therapy talk therapy or you you just sit with a counselor if i just put it like that there are trained counselors that you can go and sit with so that they can help you to understand why you're having some of these voices or why it is manifesting and they'll point you to the right direction of what you need to do so don't ignore is the main message i want to tell you get help get help for your children and help them to become healthy adults in the future that's it for today i was only here for 10 minutes and again if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel go find on youtube sharon wabaraka official youtube subscribe support me as i support you and again it is always good to be here it is always good to come and speak with your people baraka